Hey guys, today I'm sharing my 2022 makeup inventory. So I'm going to be exposing how many products I own in every category of my makeup collection. I haven't done one of these updates in a long time. I think my last update was actually March of this year. I used to do these updates every quarter. I think I decided I just don't feel like that's necessary anymore because my collection numbers tend to stay pretty stable throughout the year so I feel like if I do them every quarter it just gets a little bit repetitive. So I'm thinking I might just start doing these inventory videos once a year and that way we can compare my numbers to the previous year. I might also do a halfway point check-in in 2023 so that I can just keep things in check but we'll see if that ends up being necessary if I feel like I need to give an update if things have really changed that drastically in the next six months. I like to do these inventory videos for a couple of reasons. The main one being that it just helps me keep tabs on everything that I own, periodically going through my collection, taking everything out by category and taking a photo of each category helps to remind me of everything that I own so that nothing is being forgotten about or getting just shoved in the back of a drawer. And it's usually really eye-opening to actually see the number of products that I own in each category. Even though I'm using and interacting with my collection on a daily basis, it's easy to forget the number of products you own so it serves as a good reminder that I have enough stuff and to appreciate the things that I have because I have so many beautiful things in my collection. So with that all out of the way, let's go ahead and get into my makeup inventory. I'm going to be comparing the number of things that I have now to the number that I had at the end of last year so we can see which ones have gone up, which ones have gone down, which ones have stayed the same. And we can just talk about how I feel about these. Some of them I'm really happy with, some of them I'm a little uncomfortable with, and I would like to just keep those categories in check in the new year. So starting with face primers, I feel like I have a really manageable number. I have three face primers. Two of them are minis. For anything that is a mini, I'm just counting it as one product because there's not that big of a difference in the amount of space they take up, and minis usually do take a while to use up, just like full sizes do. So the primer category actually did go up just a little bit from last year. Last year I had two. I feel like two to three is enough for me, especially because I don't use primers on a daily basis. So that's one category that I do want to keep to a minimum. I'd really like to keep this number around three. I don't set strict number goals anymore like I used to. I just don't feel like I need that level of structure anymore, especially considering after doing these inventory videos for the past few years, I've noticed that my numbers really do stay pretty pretty stable for the most part, so I'm pretty good at keeping my collection curated at this point, so I'm not really worried about keeping things to a certain number all the time, but for the primer category, I definitely don't want this number to go up too much. I think the magic number for me in the base product category is 5. More than 5 in each category starts to feel like a little bit too much, starts to feel overwhelming. Like I wouldn't be able to use all of that up before things start to go bad. So really just keeping primers and all of the base categories under five is my general goal. So for foundations, I do have exactly five foundations and I'm very happy with that. And I'm also happy to say that all the foundations I have, I really like. And that's how I like it to be. Foundation is that category where I, I don't like to keep foundations that I just don't like. If a foundation looks bad on my skin, it kind of ruins the whole makeup look, so I really like to keep my foundation collection pared down to only the things that I love. And I have a good variety of foundations. Most of them are in the light to medium coverage range, but they all have, you know, a slightly different purpose, a different function in my makeup collection, so very happy with that one. But this time last year I actually had eight foundations, so the number has gone down. Really happy to say that. I do, I do think eight is a little bit too much for me, so Glad to have brought it down to five. For concealers, I also have five. This time last year, I had six, so this one has gone down just a little bit. Five, I think, is a perfect number. Um, I like to have a little bit of variety here, but not too much. And I've also been doing a good job actually going through concealers. This year, I think I used up three concealers, and I have also bought a few. I try to follow kind of like a one-in, one-out rule for concealers and foundations as well. I think that's a good general rule of thumb. Once something has been used up, then I can replace it. Like most recently, I used up the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer. Very happy about that. That one took a while. And then I did get a new one as part of a little Tarte Holiday set. It's actually a mini of their Shape Tape Creamy Concealer, uh, which actually I'm finding is very similar to the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo. I like it a little bit better, I think. So that was the one that kind of replaced the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo in my collection. So for now, I would like to keep it down to five and hopefully use up a couple of them in 2023. Perhaps the category that I'm most proud of is face powders. So this time last year I had six powders, which is a lot, way more than I need. 
Now, I'm very happy to say I only own two powders, which is like, who am I? That's like the amount of powders I had pre-YouTube. Really proud of myself. I know the number probably won't stay this low forever, but right now I'm really happy. I have one pressed powder and one loose powder, and that is perfect. I'm fine with getting a few more powders if this number went up to three or four, even five I would be fine with. I think six, six is pushing it a little bit. Like I said, five is kind of the magic number for a lot of these base products, but two is amazing. I am so proud and I've kept it at two for months now. So really pleased with that one. My setting spray category has also stayed nice and small. I own two setting sprays, the Urban Decay All Nighter and the Revolution Fix and Glow. So I have one really long wear setting spray and one more luminous setting spray, fixing spray type of thing. And that's perfect. I really don't feel like I need more than that. I do go through hydrating setting sprays a lot more quickly than I do long wear setting sprays. I really only use the Urban Decay All Nighter probably a handful of times a year. <laughs> I should probably use it more. I'll probably use it more in the summertime, but I have a mini of that and I just kind of keep it for special occasions or days that I really want my makeup to stay locked in place. So I don't need to own a lot of setting sprays and I'm really happy with having only two. My Makeup Revolution one is really close to being done. I didn't end up finishing it in my 2022 project pan, but I think I will be finishing this one up really early on in 2023 because um, it's actually really close to being done. So I'm really closer to one setting spray, honestly, but once I use that one up, I probably will replace it either with the same one or with a new one that I wanna try. So that is setting spray. Moving, okay. So complexion products, base products, all of those are looking really good. Really happy with all of those. I have no complaints there. Now we're gonna get into some of the categories that I'm a little bit embarrassed by. I think you know which ones we're talking about. Blush, bronzer, and highlight. These are notoriously some of my most difficult categories. I've kind of just grown to accept it, especially blush. I just, I love blush. I don't wanna have more than I can use, but as long as I'm rotating through them, I'm okay with it. So I have 17 blushes now. That's the most blushes I think I've ever owned at one time. Now, to be fair, two of these did actually just come in today. I just got a bunch of products in PR from YesStyle. I was able to pick all the products out myself, and I got quite a few products from Kaja, because they're one of the only cruelty-free makeup brands that I know of on Yes Style, and then I mainly got a ton of sunscreens because my next sunscreen roundup is going to be all about Asian sunscreens, so K-Beauty, J-Beauty sunscreens. Very excited, so stay tuned for that. So two of the blushes are brand new. If it hadn't been for that package coming in today, I would have had 15, but that's still more than I even had last year. Last year, I finished off the year with 14 blushes, so it has gone up by three. At this point, I feel like as long as I keep the number under 20, that's fine with me. This does include the two blushes that I have as part of a face palette also. And yeah, that's it. That's that's my blush category. I was gonna say that's the one that's gone up the most, but that's not true. That's not true at all. Just you wait until we get into the eye and eyeshadow category. Okay, so bronzer. Bronzer has also gone up a little bit. I have nine bronzers now, which sounds like a lot, but I have gotten more into bronzers this year. And this category, by the way, does include contour. I just lumped them all into one. And it does include each individual bronzer in my BH Cosmetics Belgian Waffle face palette. Each of those bronzers counts as one towards this number. So I have nine total. I don't know. I don't really feel any sort of way about that. That it, I think that's the most bronzers that I've had at one time also. Last year I finished off the year with seven, so it's gone up by just a couple. I think for bronzers in the future, as long as I can keep it under 12, I'm okay with that. But it's been a while since I actually used up a bronzer. I have to remember, bronzers do take a long time to use up. So um, hopefully I won't buy too many new bronzers. Next category is highlight. This one actually went down from a year ago. So a year ago I had 18 highlighters and now I have 15. 15 still sounds like a lot, but most of my highlighters are powder. I had this realization this year that I don't really like cream highlighter. Even though I love cream bronzer and blush, I don't love cream highlighter. So the fact that most of these are powder makes me feel a little bit better. Okay, so those are all the face categories. Now getting into eyes. So first up we have eye primers. This is always pretty much the same. I'm not really one to collect eyeshadow primers. Normally I just have one regular primer, a glitter primer, and then like a white 
base, like the NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk, I include that in my eye primer category. But right now I actually have four in this category because my CoverGirl eyeshadow primer is almost gone, so I just bought a replacement. I ended up getting the one from Rare Beauty. Really excited to try that one. Um, so once the CoverGirl one is done, this number will be back down to three, but at the moment it is four and that's totally fine with me. The brow category is another one that I like to keep really small. I pretty much use the same brow products every day. I currently have four brow products. This time last year I had three. So brow products, hopefully that will stay around that number. I really don't try a lot of new brow products. Once I find products I like, I pretty much stick to those. Another pretty large category is eyeshadow palettes. I am at exactly 25 palettes now, and these are any palettes that have five or more pans. I have a separate category for little mini palettes, like quads and trios. So 25, this time last year I had 24. So I'm happy to say that the number has stayed about the same, and really 25 is about where I want it to be. Maybe 30, but I, I, that would be a little much, I think. Really the biggest thing with palettes is that I just want to make sure that I'm able to actually use them all and rotate, rotate through them all. I have a really fun palette project, not really project, but just palette series coming up on my channel in 2023. It's an idea that I got from one of you guys, from Kay Lynn, so thank you very much for your idea, but I'm going to be keeping track of every palette that I use every month. I think I've seen Lauren May Beauty also do a similar type of thing on her channel, and it'll. I think it'll be a really cool way to just see which palettes am I actually using over the course of a year, because that's the number one goal for me. It's not so much based on how many I have, but I just want to be sure that I'm using all my palettes and using them all over the course of a year. 25 palettes, in theory, I should be able to use those all plenty of times throughout the course of a year. I should even be able to use each one once in a month because I don't even have 30, but yeah, 25 palettes is good for me. That's, that's a good, comfortable number. Next, we have the category of trios and quads. This is actually the category that has increased the most since my 2021 inventory, but the number that I currently have is still an okay number for me. So in 2021, I only had one quad. Very impressive. I now have eight, but six of those eight actually just arrived in PR. So I actually got a PR package from Hard Candy. It had all of their little moods eyeshadow quads. I didn't end up keeping all of them, and I probably won't keep all of these, by the way, but these are the ones I decided to keep and play with and We'll see. Uh, so far I've only actually used the bare one and I wasn't super impressed with the quality, but I also kept a few other shades of that. So I'm going to play with these and I'm guessing I probably won't keep all of these in my collection. Maybe I'll only end up keeping one or two or the ones that I end up really liking if I end up liking any of them. But those have really inflated the number of quads that I own. And then the other one that I just got, this is the, another one from Kaja. This is their Beauty Bento in Chocolate Dahlia. I'm really excited to try this. This is so cute. And the nice thing about this, even though this is a trio, it really takes up about the same amount of space as like a single potted eyeshadow. Maybe two single potted eyeshadows, you know, but it's really small and compact. So I like that because it doesn't take up a whole lot of space in my collection. But those are the six new trios and quads that have come in. Before those came in, I only had two. So really the number went up a ton just due to some PR that I received. The liquid eyeshadow number is the same as it was a year ago, but the products themselves are just a little bit different, I think. So I have five liquid eyeshadows. One of these is one that came in today, the Kaja one. This is their moon crystal in magic. But liquid eyeshadows, I have five. I think five is enough. I really don't want to have too many more than that, especially because liquid eyeshadows, sometimes they can dry out, especially the glittery ones. In fact, I probably need to check and see if all my glitters haven't dried out. Some of these are starting to look a little dry. My Black Moon ones that were actually given to me by a friend who decluttered them from her collection. But actually no, I think these are still fine. I'm really bad about using these. But um, yeah, these are actually still totally fine. So I have four of that type of liquid shadow. The other one I have is from LA Girl. And then this Kaja one is nice because it's in a squeeze tube, and this seems like the kind of thing that probably won't dry out within like a year of having it, you know? So that seems like a much smarter way of packaging liquid shadows. So those are my liquid shadows. Then we have magnetic singles. This one has gone down. This one's actually the one that has decreased the most since my 2021 inventory. 2021 I had 20 of these. Now I have 13. 
The seven that I no longer have are ones that I decluttered in my moving declutter, and I haven't bought any new ones since. I'm really not usually in the market for single shadows to add to my big magnetic palette, because as I've said before, those are some of the least used products in my collection. I just overlook them so much. I just don't feel drawn to them. So I hope to keep this number about where it is now. Definitely under 20, but even 13 is better than that. Then I have a category for single package shadows. Most of these are cream shadows or just potted shadows, as well as eyeshadow sticks. I have these all lumped into one. And in this category, I have eight. A year ago, I had five. This year, I have gotten a lot more into, especially eyeshadow sticks and one and done potted shadows. So this is a, this is one area that I could see expanding a little bit in 2023, hopefully not too much. I used to never use this kind of single shadow and now I can't get enough. In fact, one of them I use almost on a daily basis, the Flower Chrome Crush, especially eyeshadow toppers like this, I really love. And then also cream shadows I've grown quite fond of this year. <laughs> so that's all of the eyeshadow categories. Then we have eyeliner. This is another one that has completely stayed the same since 2021. I have 13 now, I had 13 then. The ones that I have are different. I used up a couple, I decluttered some, and then I also bought some. So we're back up at 13 and that is fine with me. I like having a lot of eyeliners. I used to only have like a small handful, but I like having a variety of eyeliners to pick from, fun colors. Mostly in the form of pencils is what I like to keep because those don't expire as quickly as liquid liners. I would also be open to potted eyeliners, especially the kind that's, I guess they call it like water activated liners. Those seem like they also would last a long time, but also I have to keep in mind that you can use eyeshadows as eyeliners. You can even do winged liner with eyeshadow. Um, and get almost the same effect that you would get with a liquid. So hopefully this won't grow too much, but I'd be okay with having like maybe 15 eyeliners around there is, is a comfortable number for me. Really the main thing I wanna make sure of is that I am actually using all of them, of course, but also that I don't have any duplicate shades, duplicate formulas. Right now I do have two black pencil liners, which I don't like to have two of the same color, but I can let that slide. But I do wanna just make sure that I don't have that happening a lot in my eyeliner collection. Another category that is always pretty much the same or around the same number is mascaras. Now I have three mascaras. Two of them are open, one of them is unopened. I Ideally, I would only have one mascara open at a time, but usually it ends up being two because I just have so little self-control. If I have a new mascara, I just, I wanna try it. But uh, I am keeping one unopened until these two are done. I just used up or I decided to retire my Milani Anti-Gravity Mascara because it was starting to dry out. So I, I'm missing that one so much because it was my favorite <laughs> of all the ones I had. But I am going to try to use up the ones that I currently have open before I buy any new ones. Lastly, we have the lip category. And I have these divided into three different categories. Lipsticks, lip glosses, and lip liners. I could maybe divide these further into more categories, like for example in lip gloss I have not only lip glosses but also glossy lip stains. I just have those lumped into one category. Lipstick also includes tinted lip balms, simply because they are in similar packaging, they're kind of in the same format, so I just threw the, those into the lipstick category. Um, and then lip liners, those are all the same, but for lipstick, I'm proud to say this number has gone down since 2021. I did a pretty big lip declutter in the earlier half of 2022, and I am glad that I didn't end up just buying and adding a ton of new lipsticks to my collection after doing that, because the goal really was to keep things, keep things nice and curated. So 25 is still a lot, but lipstick is another category, kind of like blush or eyeshadow, where I, I like to have a variety of colors to pick from. I, I don't feel like I need to have every single color under the rainbow, under the rainbow, in in the rainbow, <laughs> or under the rainbow. But I do think 25 is a good number, and I, I do want to use up at least one of these next year. My lip gloss category has also gone down slightly. I had 10 at the end of last year, and now I have 9. I actually just used up two lip glosses around the same time, which is unbelievable. I'm so good at using up lip glosses. That is like my favorite thing to pan because I don't know, they go pretty quick for me. So I do have nine, really three of these are more like lip stains. So I guess you could say I have more like six glosses and three lip stains. And then the last category is lip liners. I have eight of these. Last year this time I had seven, so it's really not gone up by very much. And I'm happy with that number. I really think like 10 
and under is a good amount of lip liners to have. I wouldn't be opposed to getting a couple new ones if I found some shades that I felt like would add to my collection. But um, yeah, all the ones I have I use. I mainly use my Koki lip liner in nude almost every day, but sometimes I use my other ones and I do feel like I do a pretty good job of using all of them. And then two of these I do plan to hopefully pan in the new year. So maybe this number will be even smaller this time next year. We'll see. So that is what my makeup inventory is looking like now at the end of 2022. Overall, I'm really happy with this. There are some categories that are getting a little bit bigger than I would like them to be, but then there are some that I'm really happy with that are even lower than my maximum, I would say. And I feel like the most important ones that I'd like to keep to a minimum are complexion products, foundations, concealers. Those are the ones that I really don't like to have too many of because I just don't think I need to have too many of those. Same with like brow products, eyeshadow primers, mascaras, of course. Those are easy for me to keep to a minimum, but then there are other categories where I don't mind having a nice wide variety. Um, as long as everything is something that I feel like is adding value to my collection and that everything is still fitting nicely in my makeup drawers. If my drawers start overflowing, that's when I know that I need to slow down. But right now everything is fitting very comfortably. I even have room to spare in there, but I'm not in a hurry to fill that space either. So let me know, do you keep track of your makeup inventory and how has your collection size changed from the beginning of this year to now. If you do keep track of it, I would love to hear how that has gone for you. Have you been buying a lot of makeup this year or have you been buying very little? I know a lot of people have been on no buys and low buys this year and really just trying to enjoy the makeup that you have. That's always my focus as well. But if you enjoy this kind of content that's focused on using the makeup that you already own, I would love to have you subscribe. I do all kinds of videos pertaining to these topics. I do a project pan, I do shop my stash videos, I share tips on how to really get the most out of your makeup. So if that sounds like fun to you, I'd love to have you subscribe and stick around in the new year. But thank you all so much for watching. I hope you have a great rest of your day and I will talk to you very soon in my next video. Bye.